Hello, and welcome to our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up Google Tag Manager to connect with Meta Conversions API. Whether you're looking to enhance your data privacy, improve data accuracy, or simply want to optimize your ad performance, this guide will walk you through everything you need to know. Let's get started. First, let's create a web and a server container in Google Tag Manager. Start by logging into your Google Tag Manager account. You'll need to set up two types of containers, one for web and another for server. For the web container, select web as the target platform. Name your container and click Create. If you don't have an existing web container installed on your website, follow the instructions on the page to install the necessary code snippets provided by Google. Repeat the process for the server container, but choose server as the target platform this time. Next, we need to create a tagging server URL for your server container. This URL will be used to send data from your server to Google Tag Manager. Now, let's find your measurement ID in Google Analytics. Log into your Google Analytics account and select the property that corresponds to your web container. Click on Admin, then under Property, select Data Streams. Choose your web stream, and here you will find your measurement ID. For optimal performance, we recommend you extend Metapixel cookies and enable event enhancement by checking these two boxes in your tag configuration. You can choose to send test events at any time by adding a test event code to your tags. To do this, go to your events manager and choose the correct dataset. Navigate to the test events tab and copy the code in the server events section. Paste the code into the corresponding field in your Google Tag Manager tag configuration and save it. Now you're ready to test your setup. Once done, remember to remove this code before running your ad campaigns. And that's it. You've successfully set up Google Tag Manager to connect with Meta Conversions API via server-side integration. Test your setup thoroughly to ensure everything is working as expected. And thank you for watching our tutorial.